Hey everyone, Tech Adventure here with the video for you guys. Now with iOS 18, you can lock any iPhone right directly on your iPhone without doing any custom shortcuts or anything like that. So when I open up a photo app, as you can see here, it's prompting me to enter a passcode for it to unlock it, which is built in right into the app itself. Now the way to do this is gonna be really simple. First thing is of course you have to be on iOS 18. So if you haven't updated your phone, you can do that by going to your settings, general, and then you can go to the software update and you should see iOS 18 update. This is on the beta version, which is gonna be public pretty soon. So if you wanna wait till it's public, you can wait. But basically to lock app, let's go ahead and pick app. Maybe I wanna lock my music app. You simply press and hold that app and then click on require passcode. Now, once you do that, as you can see, a prompt will come up like this. You simply click on require pass uh, code and then enter your phone's passcode here. And from there on, we hit done and now we have locked that app. So if I click on it, as you can see here, it's gonna ask me to enter my passcode to unlock. And this is great, especially if you hand your phone over to someone and they are looking at something and they're maybe looking to open up another app, they can't without that passcode. Again, it works on most apps right now. You can see here on the latest version, we just click on required passcode and we set that up and then click on to set it up. Now for this to work, you do have to keep in mind that you also need to make sure that your phone has a passcode set up in the settings and then you wanna to go to face ID and passcode, make sure you set one up if you haven't, which is gonna be right here where it's gonna say turn on passcode. So you need a passcode and if you ever need to change it, you can change it as well. So that's how you, set or lock an app with the passcode on the latest iOS 18 version. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone and other iOS devices. We'll see you guys next time.